WXVT, Greenville, Greenwood, Cleveland. Delta News at 10 starts now. Hi, everybody. I'm Kelly Rittenauer. Coming up at 10, Washington County residents face hundreds of dollars in fines if they don't clean up their act. But first tonight, an update on the bomb threat in Itabina. Those stories in a minute. Now here's Steve with a first look at your weather. Steve. Hi, Kelly. Happy Sunday, everybody. A beautiful weekend. High temperatures in the 50s to near 60 degrees, both Saturday and Sunday. Plenty of sunshine. The winds calmed down, but now temperatures are starting to drop. Have you been outside? It's getting cold out there. Temperatures will drop to near freezing. It's going to be a cold start to our Martin Luther King Day here in the Delta. You're going to have to bundle up, but by tomorrow afternoon, folks, if you like your weather nice and warm during January, man, do I have a great looking forecast for tomorrow. As we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, the cold returns and so do those pesky winds. I'll have your complete forecast coming up in just a few minutes right now. Kelly, back to you. Thanks, Steve. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Your Delta News at 10 begins in Itabina with an update on Thursday's bomb scare. According to the university's website, the campus of Mississippi Valley State University has been searched, by searched and secured by local, state, and federal law enforcement officials. The search did not recover any explosive devices or materials. The university's campus will reopen on Monday, January 20th at noon. A call center has been set up to provide more information to parents. Those numbers are 662-254-9595 or 662-254-9508. Also, if you have any information regarding this threat or see any suspicious activity, you are encouraged to contact Mississippi Crime Stoppers at 1-888-827-4637. Again, that number is 1-888-827-4637. Beginning tomorrow, Washington County residents will face fines if they fail to bag their trash before dropping it in curbside collection bins. The Board of Supervisors has given County Solid Waste Enforcement Officer Loris Moore the authority to cite residents who dump loose trash in the bins. Moore says she has received complaints about careless trash disposal, which allows for it to blow out and attract animals. Moore says she hopes that citing violators will encourage county residents to properly dispose of their trash. Moore says the fine for loose trash or litter will be $438. This will go into effect starting tomorrow. She says a litter-free environment will also help with tourism and economic development and help maintain property values. Well, in Greenville, the Kappa Tau Zeta chapter of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority celebrates their five founders in 94 years as a sorority. The Zetas invited members of the community to join them for a Founders Day observance. From clapping and singing to honoring their five founders, also known as the Five Pearls, these women exude qualities stated in their mission, scholarship, service, sisterly love, and finer womanhood. The keynote speaker, Dr. Robbie Green, a member of the Theta Pi Zeta chapter in Itabina, emphasizes building on the principles of Zeta while blazing new paths. She also encourages the women to embrace the special bond of sisterhood. You know, being, being in a sorority and being a true sister, you don't fight. Because sisters fight. So I got two over there that, 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 that they just go, man, okay? And I'm like, I get in between them and I'm about to bring both in next. And that's the way you probably feel sometimes. But guess what? We gotta get beyond that because at the end of the day, what are we? We're sisters. That's right. Dr. Green is currently employed at Mississippi Valley State University as the coordinator of graduate studies and coordinator of secondary education for the teacher education department. She also admits to being a sorority recruiter on the side. For more information on the Capita Zeta chapter of Zeta Phi Beta, visit their Facebook page at facebook.com slash Capita Zeta chapter. In state news, Mississippi is seeing its bond debt decrease to a mark last seen since 2011. 
State Treasurer Len Fitch expects Mississippi's bond debt to drop back below $4 billion by the end of the current budget year. Mississippi had nearly $4.2 billion in bond debt at the end of last year, but current predictions show it should drop down to $3.9 million by the end of June. Mississippi has the 15th highest level of tax-supported bond debt per resident at $1,700. The U.S. average was just over $1,000. In regional news, a jewelry store is robbed in Memphis and causes stores in the Wolf Chase Mall to lock up early. CBS correspondent Dennis Turner has the story. The commotion began a little after 7.30 Saturday night when at least five or six men covered in black, head to toe, reportedly came into the Wolf Chase Galleria Mall with guns and sledgehammers. They made their way to the Reed's Jewelers location on the second floor near Sears and started swinging. Many said the sound of smashing glass sounded like gunfire. Others said they had no idea what was happening, but witnessed utter chaos. All we heard was screams and we saw people running. And that we really couldn't find out anything. We didn't know what was going on. The robbers apparently knew exactly what they wanted and how to get it. They made off with more than $700,000 worth of Rolex watches, stuffing them into pillowcases. Hours later, store clerks were still taking inventory, but it appeared the thieves made off with about 65 Rolexes, costing about $11,000 apiece. During the robbery, many store employees reported closing up to protect employees and shoppers, though mall security said the mall was never on lockdown. I went to try to go to the food court and they wouldn't let me in. They said that, um, I said, did something happen? And they said, yes, ma'am, something happened. And we're not letting anybody in. And Witnesses said the confusion lasted about 15 minutes. By that time, the suspects had apparently escaped through two exits near the Reed store. Police were looking for a gray van and a red sedan with three men in one vehicle and two in the other. The Wolf Chase robbery is almost identical to one in Atlanta last June, which took place at the Lenox Square, where thieves got away with 17 Rolexes valued at just under a million dollars from a mayor's jewelry store. Coming up on your Delta News at 10, a family opens up about their personal experience with the chemical spill nightmare. Now here's Steve with another look at your weather. Steve. Beautiful weekend. Uh, I, can't, I can't stop talking about it. It was so nice. I even did some grilling. I don't know about you, but lovely January weather, but it's about to come to an end. We got one more day though. Martin Luther King Day is tomorrow. Here's your bus stop forecast. Oh, that's right. Yeah, cold start, but it's a holiday. The kids won't be taking the bus anyway, not the school bus anyway. I'll have your forecast coming up after the break. You're watching WXVT. It's your Delta News on a Sunday night at 10.